<laughs> our brains didn't stop functioning. Our brains kept functioning. So there's Jordan. weird, weird, um, lo weird laws of reality broke. Mm. Um, Jordan, Steam uh, no longer grab, grab works. The gothic, grab the gothic map. It's, I, I, it's like I got it. Good man. Yeah. Okay. So just yeah, and things like um, from what we can understand, gunpowder and gun cotton stopped working as well. So bullets stop working as an example. Oh. Um, however, they have um, as they have a I, they've got magic stones basically known as Chris that they use to power magic items like magic guns and vehicles and blah blah blah. Magic goggles like I've got. <laughs> they allow you to see magic. Um, magic. Okay. So, yeah. So, right. yes, so society is weird. Uh, yes. You guys open up the uh, door and filling the frame uh, side to side, top to bottom is an inky blackness. What do you, sorry, Danny, what do you actually see there? We should just make sure uh, that we're all on the same page. Uh, uh, inky, uh, just, you know, a void, nothing. So just, an inky blackness. As yeah. In, a, is it, a, sorry, Logan, was it swirling? I can't remember. Uh, not right now it isn't. Okay. That's right. Well, the fact you can see an inky, black, uh, inky, inky blackness of void, Oh, that's because that's the other thing. Non Doras don't usually uh, are usually not able to see gates. So, if you were a non door, you potentially would not have seen. You may have just seen a brick wall, or you may have seen a passageway. You mean something could be behind this that we would never be able to access because? That's right. Ooh, that's a card for him. That's clever. And no yes. one else has brought that little point up yet. Hey, yo. Um, we've heard from another Dora that potentially there are ways of manipulating gates and stuff. So potentially in the future, one of us may gain some ability that would allow us to affect the gate in such a way that we could pass through it without actually, you know, walk through it without actually having it activate on us. But we're not sure yet. All right. Shall we? What happens if we go through the gate when it's not swirling? Not sure. We've we've not we've we've not had anybody have an accident. Logan's not that much of a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, if there's a gate and we pass through it, we'll end up somewhere. Sometimes the gates don't necessarily take us where we think we do. So while I'm believing this will take us to the 22nd century San Angeles. If someone's been tampering with the gate that we don't know about, or for whatever reason, reality shifting or whatever, we could end up anywhere. Understood. So that I suppose that's one thing to keep in mind. Don't assume that a gate will always lead you to where you expect it to. 99 times out of 100 it will, but occasionally we've had instances where we've gone through a gate and it's taking us somewhere completely different. Mm -hmm. um, and how dangerous is this? Not specifically going through a gate, but like this existence. Um, if you die, you will come back alive. You'll come back alive weakened. Um, like the, the substance that makes up your ability to cast spells, etc. Your essence per se will be weaker. Um, certain of your abilities will be weaker. So if you die often enough, you will never come back because you'll no longer have any essence as such. But um, you can die. But and are there people never... actively trying to kill us? We mm -hmm. have encountered other people that have actively tried to kill us, but it seems to have been on a zone-by-zone -zone basis. But it also comes down to if you if you piss people off or other people piss people off, you know, you you might get people that are after us because they're annoyed with us for whatever reason. You know, they might they may send replicants after us to hunt us down and kill us in one of the zones, which is a cyberpunk style zone. 
which okay. happened to several of the group. Okay. Everybody give me a spot hidden roll as you prepare to go into the inky blackness. Uh, spot hidden. Crit. Hmm. Network, stop that. Uh, yeah, by half. On that, actually, right. not by half. Two of you notice, I don't think Jordan does yet. Uh, two of you see as you're preparing to go through, Ollie with her face pressed up against the window and her hand going. Oh, wait, bye, Joy. <laughs> uh, is, is Ollie one of us? Mm, don't know. Mm -hmm. we, we don't, well, in that regards that we don't feel that sort of connection to her. As far as I'm aware, Logan's not mentioned that. Not at all. But whether or not she's another Dora, it is something that I keep meaning to ask her and forget about. So keep that keep that in the back of your mind as something potentially worth asking. I uh, think she's just uh, just touched. Mm. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yes. So that seems awfully uh, unlikely considering the other events that have occurred. Yes. Oh, um, do you recall what time period you came from, George, um, Danny? Uh, uh, Alex, while they're talking, since you got crit, you see uh, Ollie look over, and then she looks back at you. Those two are facing each other talking, and she's making shooing motions, and then she keeps looking to her right. I push the two through the door and then follow them. <laughs> right. You guys are propelled by freakishly strong dude through this fucking gate. I'm not going to bother to have them roll as it's not really important. But no. you are now in a really nice kind of um, 19th uh, or early 20th century smoking room. It's got the big wing back chairs. You guys come out from behind one of those folding screens and they've got a humidor with cigars and stuff. And you're Ooh. all adults again. Uh, how old was your, was your guy before? Uh, uh, I'm going to say early 20s, probably like 20, probably. Like 20 years old. Uh, do you have anything to add to your description aside from uh, uh, half Chinese? Or uh, half Chinese? I don't know. I never really thought of like distinguishing features, so I'm going to say no. Okay. Do uh, could you guys give him a very brief? Uh, uh, you're all in school uniforms, which is hilarious. And but... we're still bald. Yes, everybody. Everybody's still missing their hair for some reason. Uh, thin lips, hawk-like nose. A uh, little bit over six foot. I would normally say thin, but as I said, I'm just trying to work out if we actually look quite bulky and muscly nowadays. Uh, it, being quite... I, I would call you more of a whip cord. Wire yeah, whip cord. Yep. Uh, uh, approximate square, age. Square jaw. Approximate age. Uh, early thirties, I think, from memory. Uh, 96, 28, yeah, I think, yeah, early 30s. Alex? Yeah, uh, stocky, like, 5 foot 11, uh, guy with, like, a, uh, red cheeks and a, looks like probably a nose that's been broken a couple of times, uh, bottle of whiskey in his hand, and, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I mean, guess what that might I'd say, uh, Denny's, like, 5 foot 6, um, small, compact build, but um, probably rather um, rather in shape considering his gymnast background. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, his uh, face is a little bit pop-marked, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, small, kind of smallish features, but yep, mm -hmm. that's about it. Excellent. Cool. Um, right. You guys are in the smoking room. Nobody else is in the smoking room. And everybody give me a essence times three or less roll. Um, on your sheet, you'll notice that uh, it has essence and then times one, times two, times three. That's because many people are bad at math. So I encourage people to fill out essence times three because I don't want to sit there while they're trying to figure out what well, yeah. times three is. Well, nice to done, Joel. Well. Jordan is fucking king of the rolls today. I, I have been doing real well with these roles. Yes, yes. A lot of personal sanity is being lost, and you're going, what the fuck is going on with all this shit? But your roles are hot. I was going to say, uh, it so, seems to be helping him. 
Yes, uh, put a tick mark next to your essence. Don't forget that, sir, because it might go up. We'll go over all that shit later. But um, let's see. He's uh, did, Matt. Did you make yours? I'll uh, go by times two. And Pete, I don't think you've made yours. So nope. uh, those of you who made it, you feel like um, there's some sort of very light magic here that makes people want to not stay here, but it's not really affecting you guys. Yeah, we're gonna help okay. myself to a cigar. There's yes. a fucking humidor of them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also different alcohols and shit in here. <laughs> this is a fucking Don't, I'm not leaving. leaving. Not <laughs> is there anything else of note in here? Um, pretty much. It, it looks like uh, it's a very high quality uh, gentleman's smoking room. So uh, a lot of uh, heavy, heavy drapes, uh, wall tapestries. Uh, dark corners etc all right so old smells we of might... stained wood uh, probably it's probably no uh, wrong price list all right so one thing all right just me gets for your... tolerance roll as you fucking drink half a bottle of fucking expensive shit all at once yeah got it <laughs> doesn't seem to affect him it's not really fair so Jordan, on the player map, just and also for Alec, for Matt, since you haven't been here before either, mm -hmm. um, as to where we currently are, if you look at the bottom, you've got on the on the left, you've got the West Beach. Okay. Uh, yeah. So bottom bottom left, you've got okay. the West Beach. Now, if you go to the right of that, the next location is Lambourne Hall, a decidedly upscale area of town. We're there. We're in the Helton that comes off Ritzy area of town. Now, one thing of note, the, li the lines only intersect if there is an actual box. So, for example, from here, we can't actually get the beach does not actually intersect with this location. Yeah, straight lines only, no turns. Okay. I just yes. did some big complicated things. So I couldn't get it all where I wanted it. So yes, so we're currently in the Helton, second finest hotel in town. In the smoking room. In the smoking yeah. Room, exactly. Yeah, which is an area that comes off of that. Um, Jordan, just so you know about Half of the areas on the map are not actually listed on your copy. There are shit you can discover, like the smoking room at the Helton, okay. which then goes Helton smoking room off of Helton gate to the school. Oh um, my god! I want to go to the haunted vagina. <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> uh, we're in a position. We we can. We might as well go go see if the barber shop on the off chance it's still open because it's not too late. I don't think I'm not sure what time we have dinner. We have we dinner got, at the school. Well, you had to wait till after dark, so it's around probably eight or nine p.m. Okay, yeah. so he's possibly close then. Sorry, Alex. Uh, I was going to say you you got the Australian Embassy next door, so it's a hotel. It's not the actual uh. Australian Embassy, unfortunately. <laughs> but, if, uh, I did go over there and ask him if they were aware of where the Australian embassy actually is, and he looked at me strange that there's no such there's no such country. It's a right. legend or it's a myth. He said he closes. Actually, I think they referred to it as a myth. Sorry, um, Danny. He closes at night. Um, the barber. Yeah, because yeah. he's a barber. Yeah. So if so if it's like eight or nine, is it possible that he might still be open? Possibly. Being a Friday night, I don't know if he keeps later hours on Friday night. We we can go and check, and, and at least worst comes to worst, you'll know where it is on the off chance we get separated or something, or something happens, and you need to go there during yeah, the day, we and we're not here. Okay. For a little walk. So basically, what we need to do is we need to go from here. We need to go to the main town square. Now, one thing of note: the haberdasher over there seems to be an actual club of some sort. I didn't work out. I didn't spend time to work out what sort of club it is, but it seems mm -hmm. to be some sort of high-end club that you need a, a password to get in. Right. 
as you guys are heading over there, um, Oh, you uh, are walking by, and everybody give me a listen roll as uh, there's just some people hanging out, talking to each other, drinking, uh, kind of doing one. They're basically people watching in the Ooh. town square, sitting around, having a drink. I am loudly whistling to myself. All right. <laughs> it, it, I have. Uh, all right. Uh, they're talking about some criminal called uh, Jan Jan Alden who was such a horrible person, it seemed he was trying to collect all five forehead brands. Jan, Jan, Jordan, was it? Alden. A -L -D -E -N. Alden. That's a lot of brands. I don't know if he's got enough forehead. Well, I'm sure they'll fit it in. Which ones did he have? I, I don't know. I know he had the, the R, the B, and the S, but I don't know about the T and G, but we'll probably get those soon enough. Why isn't he the Gulag? I don't fucking know. I, maybe if you collect all five, you get bigger social status there. What a piece of shit. Hmm. What are forehead brands? No idea. I suspect there's some sort of something that happens if you commit a crime i would speculate interesting now just so you know some of the the tech going on here hold on a minute let me see if i can how do we go about uh getting money for these locations um there's you can Knock someone over the head and take their money. We don't tend to do that. <laughs> I'm just imagining that poor bastard. Um, we we then we try and find some sort of employment. Um, mm -hmm. I've got some leads for employment of this location. Um, if we want to go down that route, or we bring items from another zone that we have where we have made money over to here and convert it have unveiled some of the various sites. Basically, it's brutalist architecture, uh, which is a lot of exposed concrete and stuff, combined with things like uh, trolleys that are drawn by horses. Lots of horse shit in the street. You got to watch where you step at all times here. Uh, people look at you guys really uh, oddly like, and some pay. guys like, oh, no, no problem. You can tell them when it gets back. And some guys like, hey, kids. School out? Shut up. Uh, so wait, so our uniforms, you said there's like red sleeves. Uh-huh. What, yeah. what else is uh, on our school uniforms? I will show you a picture of your school uniforms. Hold on a minute. Let me get over to that. Ah, there you go. Right. Go Bobcats. Uh, on your roll 20 in the upper left, uh, the first three pictures are kind of what the teachers wear, and then the next picture uh, is what the students wear. I said, go screw yourself, you pedophile. <laughs> one, of, one of them stands up like, I'm going to do something about this. Yeah? Yeah? You want to sit down? Intimidate. Right, give me an intimidate role to be super scary. <laughs> he thinks that you want a beating and he is happy to come over and do it i am using a reroll oh i got a reroll card i thought you were just trying to introduce uh jordan to ju the combat systems brutality right away Good thing. yeah i got my intimidation he goes oh and sits back down <laughs> the they get quiet and they, they yeah, ignore you guys. yeah that's, that's what i thought punk they look chagrined. I'll place myself uh, a little bit behind him, trying to like give the illusion that I'm not with them. Yeah. In this situation. Hold on. And also, what's? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in the lower lower uh, part of the uh, thing, you'll get to see just some of the various sites and stuff from uh, the uh, the city. 
Where is this? It's where you are. The city of San Angeles. Where are the pictures? Roll 20. Uh, All I'm seeing is this. Down down to the bottom. And to the right. Okay, I've got it. Right. Uh, Now, you guys also notice some unusual architecture in that, uh, if you remember from the Crapsack Cyberpunk area, how you had the buildings that went up into the fucking smog, after about five or six floors, it looks like they've either been sheared off or fallen into other buildings and then lashed to them or just fallen. And sometimes people are even living in some of the fallen buildings, although a lot of those have been cleared away quite a while ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, roving, roving patrols with uh, uh, various pistols and rifles that look like toy ray guns um guards they're like city guards or police or something roam the streets since you guys left the uh really nice area much to the surprise of the people in the hotel watching three guys in uh schoolboy uniforms come out the smoking room they were thinking pedophile party who knows and but you obviously you're rich enough to afford to be there so nobody questioned it but uh yeah so that's the kind of stuff that you're seeing. A lot of fucking concrete, horrible architecture here. Maybe we should get a change of clothes and leave it in the in an, a hidden area of the smoking room for future reference. Yeah. Um, well, our intent was not necessarily to spend too much time here, but, um, yes, yeah, so I, I have been considering doing that. But um, Oh, he has his kitty-sized ninja uniform, sadly. <laughs> yes, yes, we've... Um, there were other, other other things dominating what I needed to do. All right, so... so where do you head to after Alex has uh, scared some people? So from the town square, we go to... Where is it again? I had, I had it. Oops. Sorry, my map's... Gone, it's funny. I, uh, I know that you know yeah. the area. You're looking for the uh, no, 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 I've got it. It's the weapons and armor row. Yep. You know, no I've problem. Been there. I've made use of him. Yep. Uh, over, over. Uh, as you guys head over there, you're passing uh, uh, sharps, and you can see over at the slaughterhouse. There's a small group of young women who are out trying or trying to out cool each other by doing the coolest uh, spirit pentagram dancing. In other words, they've got like um, it looks like a uh, pentagram with uh, on these girls between uh, three and five of the points with various intricate runes filled in. And what they're doing is they're making the pentagrams move around their bodies. And they're right now, though, they're all laughing at one girl whose uh, pentagram thing got stuck on her face. And she runs off in tears. And the girls say, it's like a forehead brand. <laughs> because they're mean bitches. So anyway, you guys arrive at uh, the well-closed uh, uh, barber shop. It says Clums Barber Shop or Barber Shop. And it has like the normal barber shop pole, as you can see, or as you saw in the pictures earlier. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's fucking closed. You guys stand there in your schoolboy uniforms wondering why mm-hmm. Jordan wasn't with you to tell, or Danny wasn't with you to tell you to have different clothing earlier. <laughs> so, yes. So, this barber shop is basically a back, what we call a back door to the various zones not um not all locations appear to have a clems but most of them do and if you know the correct phrase you can use that to travel between zones without having to try and find the gates oh that's useful yes Yes. very useful unfortunately others know about it and so sometimes we in one of the zones somebody would set up um anti anti-aircraft rockets and all sorts of nasty stuff to try and prevent us from using clamps. <laughs> um, 
Oh, um, that pentagram thing that they were carrying on about, apparently if somebody casts magic and they don't have a pentagram, it means they're not human. So just be careful and you get your pentagram when you graduate or something from the okay. Shadow Academy. From what little we've been able to work out about what it's all about. Okay. So, although something we haven't tried is, oh, we have in the school, but I, I didn't try it here, is casting a spell to see whether or not I do have a pentagram because sometimes the zones enforce certain laws of reality upon you. And we may find that we actually do have a pentagram because we're here. Hmm. Huh. But as I said, I haven't tried that yet. Anyway. Um, so... You guys stand dejectedly in front of the Clem's Barber Shop. Yes. Um, you hear dogs barking somewhere. The city itself, even though the sun's down, it looks like a lot of the shops have been closed. Uh, but there, there are still uh, people at the Slaughterhouse Restaurant. Nice. And uh, as as you guys are hanging out there, uh, some people are getting ready to go in, and one of them's like, "Do you think that you'll see it?" And the other guy's like, "Listen, I know that ghosts exist, but believing that this restaurant is haunted by a ghost of a cow is just fucking stupid." But they serve a good steak. Come on, and then they. Had <laughs> <laughs> uh. So the barbershop's closed. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do here then? You're thinking um, getting mugged is on your list. Sorry, I was just, I was just checking how much money I had, and I don't have enough money to outfit us in decent clothing. I uh, thought you said you had 10 gold. 7 gold. But 7 gold is 70 silver per gold piece. Yeah. From my understanding, yeah. a fancy set of clothing is 350 silver. Yeah. Oh, you only want fancy? <laughs> no. I'm just, well, just, as I said, I don't, we don't have the money to equip ourselves in fancy clothing. Ah. Uh. So. Oh. Would, um, would it be possible for us to try to find a way to make money tonight? Possibly not tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, we um, wait for this place to open. And well, are there consequences for us not being at school? Not over the weekend. They don't do. They don't do a roll call. They don't check to see if people are in their beds. Okay. Kids seem to disappear occasionally, and they don't seem to care about it. The teachers, there's something about us as well that the teachers sometimes gloss over us. Oh. So if if we skip classes and stuff, they don't always notice. Okay. By the way, uh, um, Danny notices he, ha and also uh, uh, Alex notices, because I know uh, Joshua has been here before. Danny, you have two new cards on you. You have the star and the six of pentacles. Hmm. Alex has the Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is a bit concerning because it shows it like three swords are hung on the wall and then a guy laying with his hands uh, up and then uh, a sword uh, under him. And it could be like uh, a coffin or something like that. But it's nobody you've killed recently, so, you know. All right. I mean, we can try and see if there's a, a late shop open that sells clothes. There's none. Is there... It's weapons and armor row, but is there any clothing shops here? Or do we need eventually, to eventually, you guys go and find a clothing shop. Not all the not all the stores. Uh, just so uh, you know, Jordan are actually on the map. I just put the interesting shit on the map because nobody cares yeah. about the uninteresting stuff. So yes, at the prices listed on the price list, and for those who don't have the price list, I did put the link for the price list for 
uh, gothic in there. Um, yes, you can find a shop that will sell you normal rugged clothes and shoes and stuff. So you no longer have to be dressed like you are. Now, is, are your gold coins uh, uh, gothic gold coins? No. Then they, it, there's an extra delay. Gold is gold, so they're fucking happy to, to do it. But they basically end up getting them weighed and making sure they're actual gold, et cetera. But uh, aside from the extra hour of your fucking day wasted for that, uh, and he offers to change all of them in into uh, the coins. You think you may be getting a slight bump, but n give me empathy rolls if you're interested. Too many windows open. Empathy. Mm. Don't think so. Alex doesn't seem to care. He has his yeah. bottle, and he's yeah. happy with it. I don't care. I... Lots and lots and lots and lots. Great. Uh, you're thinking that it's enough to get him to offer the service, but not so much as you'd give a shit about yeah. any possible yeah. money's lost. Yeah. I'll, I'll change them over. Just, yeah. Um, so, so I don't know how different they would be, and I don't know what he would think of the coins because they're Genovian beast kin gold <laughs> coins. <laughs> If somebody, he, his attitude is if somebody wants to stamp silly Disney characters onto gold, it's still gold. Mm -hmm. He can That's have right. it fucking taken yep. to the bank and melted down and reforged into non children money. Yep, yep. So, yeah, he is totally okay with that. It's amazing what people will overlook if they can make some money out of it. Mm hmm. Uh, as far as what the coins and stuff look like, you get to see them, if nothing else. Uh, the silver the silver coins are quite a bit bigger than the gold coin because gold's heavier. Uh, the silver coins made to be cut into eights if so desired. Uh, both the gold and silver coin uh, have uh, the ridges on the outside known as reading and uh, they both have holes punched in the middle. Um, you notice that uh, the merchant himself is wearing some of the coins as a necklace, some silver coins. He's not wearing gold because he doesn't want to get fucking killed for it. So. Good way to get mugged. Oh, it totally is. But if you ever want to get an easy fight started, you can just walk down the street wearing a necklace of gold coins as a way of saying, if you can kill me, you can have this. Have gold coins. Mm. He tells lies. There you go. All right. So that's going to be nine gold and uh also uh three, let's see uh, yeah and silver i believe this is the town where pete was this town where everybody wears a dagger no th that was genovia no, sorry that's genovia well that was yeah. the old genovia whether or not they do here as well i don't know now, but, uh, uh, actually, people, gun gun people wearing guns or carrying guns or hiding guns much more common here. This is old si crap sack cyberpunk, so people took their weapons rights pretty fucking seriously. Apparently, the guy does look a bit concerned that you guys don't have weapons. Mm, yeah, so you um, guys buy guns. Actually, Danny, here's three. Well, after we after we're done with this dude. Yeah. Danny, here is three gold coins. If you oh. want some of them in silver, the guy's happy that's... to change them to. <laughs> that's awfully nice of you. Uh, I've got a I've got to set up in one of the air in one of the zones to that's m slowly making money for the group. So what, it's What's the general currency for gold like Sorry, what do you mean? How, how, As in how, how much do, is it worth? Yeah, how, how, how would you... So another another zone, they use gold coins as well. So this is from that zone. These gold coins. Okay. But yeah, uh, so the exchange rate 70 silver to one gold at this place. At pl this place. Um, base, what kind basic, of what kind of sorry, go. so like let's let's uh, let's put it in kind of simple terms. If I were to buy an a meal with this currency, how much would I be spending? Well, a way to a wage would be a basic weekly wage is forty silver a week, 
a good wage is 50 silver a week. Um, so, yeah, okay, so, so, so three gold is quite a bit of money. Yes. So don't, don't flash it around. Mm -hmm. Be careful about flashing it around. Um, yeah, um, your set of clothing, just so you know, is 20 silver. Yeah. That includes footwear. Yeah, but that that that's rugged clothing. We've gotten mm -hmm. we haven't gotten high end clothing. Mm -hmm. Um so you wear. Is there anywhere nearby that would potentially sell uh cameras? Mm, good question. I don't mm. know if cameras well electricity doesn't work, so digital cameras uh, don't work in this place. Whether or not they've got magic cameras i don't know we could certainly look into it as you guys are standing there talking about that a car right out of mad max goes slowly by and with some sort of whitish fog stuff that comes out the back it's not wet and it doesn't smell like anything um but it just kind of drives by it's got like spikes and you could very much do a road road warrior thing in that car nobody else is looking at it oddly just so you're aware well, would, would a film camera work? Um, I don't know. We don't know enough about what chem what chemistry. Um, uh, what am I trying to think of? What's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, reactions. What chem what chemical reactions work and don't work in this place? A flying car goes overhead. Uh, much faster. As I said, we, we, can yeah. cert we can certainly have a look. <laughs> now it's powered by magic, Alex. Oh. Okay. Everything here. Don't forget, electricity does not work here. This is, the perfect, this is the perfect zone for you. Uh, <laughs> just so you know, Danny, um, Alex comes from the 1920s. Oh. <laughs> and has a strong dislike for electricity. The and demons. other sorts of modern technology. So makes 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 things a challenge, especially when we're in <laughs> a cyberpunk world, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get around, etc. Okay. Uh, do you guys? Uh, you guys, can, if you want to go to a restaurant or more likely a bar, I'm sure you can. I was going to say, well, we've already on. eaten dinner, so we mm -hmm. probably don't need to go to a restaurant, but we could go to. A bar or something to. Which one would keep... you like to go um, to? And would you like to get oh, any? Kind well, of first, first of all, first of all, we'll have a look around to see if there's. We'll have a look around see if there's any general stores or anything to see if we can see any places that sell cameras. As Danny was interested in camera. I mean, there may not be places open. There is a place that sells um, old world junk. Danny, but that's usually when I looked at it last time I was here, it was closed by now. Um, okay, so we can return in the morning then. Well, yeah. very, very close to the uh, uh, Clems is a Gnome Depot, but they are closed. They are a general store, but also closed. Oh, yes, true. There's a general store just there. He points at it. Okay. Um, a lot of the stores, when they close, they have the metal shutters that they pull down over all the doors and windows and stuff here. It's a weird um, mix between post-apocalyptic, very modern, and magic here. Okay, so uh, what, do you, what do you guys think we should do to kill time? Um, hmm. Camera focuses it on Alex. <laughs> Besides getting drunk. Something a bit more proactive. All right, so just actually, I'll just let you know. Um, so there's several op there's several employment opportunities in this place that I'm aware of. There's an employment center. There's the I Spy Private Eye Agency, which is in another area from here. Uh, there is mercenaries, and there's an alchemist known as the Great Yan Dune. Who buys monster parts. Um, from my previous time here, that's what I was able to find as potential employment opportunities. I mean, we could go over to, for example, go over to the I Spy Private Eye and see if there's anybody there. Hmm. 
Yeah, that sounds like something a little bit more up my alley than either the uh, or any of the other options. <laughs> no problem. You guys uh, head over to the I Spy Private Eye, uh, which is in the Sprigham district. Mm -hmm. um, um, which is just so for Jordan and Matt, it's basically the zone almost directly north of the weapons and armor row. Mm -hmm. uh, the I Spy Private Eye is close to Spatula City, which has a big sign outside saying, buy 11 spatulas, get the 12th for free. And it has its own tram stop there. The uh, private uh, investigator office, I Spy, is a small rundown rinky dink type of place, which is currently closed because the only things open at this hour are probably bars and the whore houses. Hmm. As it's getting close to ten, because you guys had to wait for your gold to get exchanged so long. The and Alex, you're we... running. You've run out of alcohol in the bottle. No. But this area does look freakishly familiar, and you know there's always one place that you can get a drink. If you remember the name of the bar that you like to drink at, I will give you a card. Cheers. <laughs> Not that fucking part. That's that's from a television People show. People always know my name. The Boneyard. Wow, yeah, take, that's, take that's a card. Over the ecology. I, I went and checked it out the other the we other night. You could get a train to the Boneyards. Does anyone want to go on the Bone Train? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. Um... So you said he's from the 1920s, yeah? Yes. He must be just discovering all of these jokes that we got sick of. Yes. A hundred yeah. years ago. I just like retelling them. <laughs> They're classics. Do you, do you want to take them to the boneyard? or? I, I actually want to check out the Battle of St. Angeles Park for a moment. I'm curious as to what it's a park about. Which battle it's a park it's commemorating. No problem. Um, it is commemorating uh, the uh, genocide of uh, the. Uh, uh, um, wait, no. It's commemorating some battle. It doesn't state which one because the sign used to be there, but it was stolen. And it is, uh, you can see St. John's Teaching Hospital. And it looks as though the O has fallen down a while ago. And there are old blood stains uh, uh, directly underneath it. Is there statues or anything like that in the? Park? Yes, there, there are people that you do not know, though. Um, mm -hmm. it, it does. It does have. Uh, there's graffiti saying "fuck aliens" and shit like that around. Oh, uh, I actually I don't know if it. If, it's something you would have noticed, Danny. That I don't. I think we may have brushed over mm. is that um, there are elves and all the servants at the <laughs> Shadow Academy are elves. Uh, take a card. I forgot about that. Um, and they've got neck braces and wrist braces. And there's a phrase you can say that will actually cause the braces to lock in place. But if you say it and the elf's not doing anything bad, you get in trouble. So essentially, they're slaves. Yeah. Um, but not like the cute, adorable house elves. These are full-size elves who hate humans. Yeah. So the reason I was curious about the Battle of San Angeles, one of the battles of San Angeles, which we participated in, um, basically was the elves trying to overrun San Angeles with hordes of zombies. And, um, yeah, and that led to pretty much the genocide of the elves that didn't escape through a gate to somewhere else that were in the area around San Angeles. Okay. History. And that was, yeah, that was in a 19th century zone. Because poor Jordan hasn't gotten enough of the fucking yeah. history yet. Yeah. But yeah, just, just what the whole thing about the elves. Um, do you, do you know what the ghost dance is? Are you familiar with the ghost dance at all? No. So the ghost dance is a thing from 
that the American Indians, and it appears the elves as well, link with um, basically overthrowing white man. And there's a subplot going on at the school where someone's written Bad Wolf on the Wall, which is apparently one of the Indians involved in the ghost dance from the Battle of St. Angeles. So the elves think, you know, their saviour is coming, etc. And also the Doctor Who reference. And the Doctor <laughs> Who mm -hmm. reference, exactly. Thank you, Cards, for picking up all these fucking references. By the way, uh, Alex, I you know love Doctor Who, so... Yeah, you notice yeah. that you guys are just standing there in the street having this conversation, and you could be drinking, but you're not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, just so Jordan knows, there are various points. If your character loses enough sanity, you pick up insanities, which then you must role play. And apparently, uh, one of Alex's many, many insanities is he is an alcoholic. So. If you're not drinking, then there's something bad going on. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember if the character sheet has been updated. It used I to have be. No idea. I think I think like the one new every... ones are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. Now, let's go now it the starts final. at forty-five or forty, thirty, twenty. I've made it easy. Yeah. Let's go to the boneyard, Alex. Boneyard. No problem. Yeah. You guys get taken uh, off to a bar. It's uh, uh, Geiger. You might want to describe the. Sorry, Logan. I was just going to say you may want to describe the dome that these guys would see for the first time when we're heading that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Yes, uh, in in the area labeled uh, the Arcology, that's next to the Boneyard. It appears that there's. It's. It looks like a big multi-domed city, and then there's a big zone around it where there's nothing. It's flat ground. Um, there's a lot of signs posted like killing zone, do not enter, enter at your own risk. No, go in. It's perfectly safe. Somebody's handwritten. And um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it, it's kind of like the, the domes from the old movie Logan's Run, if you know what that is ancient movie uh, i haven't seen it now anyway big white domes uh like uh soap bubbles and some of them are, are and they're all kind of interconnected and there's a huge amount of ground around them and it looks like uh, some old remnants of city wall here and there but nothing within the huge killing uh ground around it um and then near that is a uh, a bar which it looks like all the chairs and bar and everything is sculpted out of bones and it was made by the guy who made the aliens movie so it all has that kind of vibe and alex walks in like he fucking owns the place mm. despite carrying no money yay so that's what is there you pretty much get whisked off to a fucking bar for a bottle of something good. I believe the price is seven silvers. And I believe that I'll probably drink a couple of bottles. I'll just get a water. <laughs> they don't They don't give you water. They just look oh. at you with hatred. You can get a shot for three bits or a bottle of something good for two silvers or fancy alcohol is seven silvers. <laughs> I won't drink. No problem. You said there was good for someone to be coherent. I just shake my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Pete, you may as well mark off. Oh, probably twenty-one silvers, or no, actually closer to thirty silvers. You're with Alex, and you're probably having a drink or two yourself. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting drunk. I'll have a. I'll have the occasional drink, but yes, I'm. I want to keep my wits about me. Are you guys going to basically uh, be drinking from about 11 till 7 in the morning when shit starts to open? Or do you want to just... Because they, they won't close. You know, they're happy to stay open. Eventually, the morning crowd will come in. Uh, there is non-alcoholic drinks you can get as well. Uh, like, they, they serve something like Red Bull. They call it Red Bull. It's not Red Bull. But it's a stimulant caffeine type thing. They also have various drugs 
that uh, they can give you. Some of them in needle form because, you know, there's nothing better than taking needle drugs at a bar. What about sarsaparilla? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they do offer you cocaine. <laughs> it took him way too long to figure out if he wanted the coke or not. He's just looking at it like... Mm, yes. <laughs> no, no. So there you go. Yeah, apparently the uh, drug and alcohol uh, laws are really loose here. Uh, you guys watch Alex drink uh, nonstop. Alex, give me an alcohol tolerance roll at negative 30 as they test your limits. No. <laughs> at last, he fucking got drunk. And he's just kind of like laying there drooling on the table and muttering about stuff. Do you have a wheelbarrow here? Ah. Yes, they do. <laughs> every everyone every one of them does they they go and get a padded wheelbarrow that appears that it's been modified so they can put people in it and they help you load your alex kinley on it it's dawn I'm... stuff should be open and he's fucking wasted they give you alcohol for the road and uh away you go would you like it an iv bag one of them asks <laughs> um, no thank you <laughs> Right, where would you like to wheel Alex to? He's lost the use of his body, but is he can still talk at you and... We'll go yeah. get breakfast somewhere to get some food into us. Who's, who's on been... wheelbarrow duty, by the way? I'll wheel him. Nice. I won't, I won't make Danny do that. Would you like shitty food or good food? It's one silver difference in the meals. Uh, decent food. Great. Uh, for six silver, you feed everybody, including Alex, who you are helping to feed, because otherwise he just rubs it in his hair. Wait, so what time is it now? It's about 7 a.m. People are starting to get up oh, to go Jesus. to work. Yeah, it's been a long fucking night. I get a coffee. No problem. Yeah. Caffeine. Yeah. Dude. After being after watching somebody else just torture their fucking body all night, having a caffeine <laughs> is probably a good thing. <laughs> 